pizza time. Oh. Gotta get the flashlight. So your power's out. Whether it's a blizzard, high winds, thunderstorm, or fallen tree limb, Mother Nature is probably the culprit. The question is, what do you do now? Step one, let us know you have an outage. Use our online outage center or give us a call. It's easy. Easier than remembering where you left the flashlight. And nobody likes being left in the dark, which is why our online outage center provides up-to-date information about your outage. What caused it? When our crews are in your area and when power should be restored. Step two, breathe easy. Even before you reported an outage, we're already working to get your power up and running. See Olivia? She constantly monitors storm damage to get our crews exactly where they need to be. And Terry, he's with the mobile storm unit that goes to the heart of outages to make certain our crews have everything they need to get your power back as quickly as possible. So you're probably wondering, who gets their power back first? Think safety and public health should be a priority? So do we. That's why we first restore power to emergency services, like hospitals, fire, police, even TV and radio for emergency communications. Now, sometimes you might notice your neighbors across the street get their power back before you. That's because they're on a different circuit. And remember how I said we put safety first? See Kevin here? He normally works in our offices, but like hundreds of Consumers Energy employees, he volunteers to go out into the storm to guard down wires. We all know losing power can be an inconvenience, which is why we won't stop until everyone gets their power back, period. Because when things are darkest is when we shine brightest. For more on how we restore power and work to prevent future outages, go to consumersenergy.com.